step into the world of a classic TV series that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. This iconic show, filled with car chases, laughter, and the occasional tear, became a household favorite. As you follow the adventures of the Duke family, you might be wondering are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? With each episode, you'll be treated to a roller coaster of emotions funny, shocking, and even a bit sad. The show has a way of keeping you on the edge of your seat, eager to uncover the next twist in the tale. Out of the many roles in this series, which one was your favorite? The characters brought this fictional southern town to life, and everyone has a standout performance that resonates with them. But the journey doesn't end there. As you reminisce about the good old days in Hazard County, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to the show is as unique as the storyline itself, and we can't wait to hear all about it. So buckle up and get ready for a trip down memory lane. There's a world of untold stories waiting for you. Keep watching for the many funny, shocking, and sad facts that lie ahead. We look forward to hearing your tales. The Dukes of Hazard, a television series from 1979, presented a portrayal of Southern life that stirred a mix of opinions among viewers. Some appreciated its entertainment value and family-friendly nature, while others criticized its endorsement of rebellious behavior and disregard for the law. The show revolves around the Duke family, featuring characters like Bo Duke, Luke Duke, Daisy Duke, and their uncle Jesse Duke. Bo and Luke, played by John Schneider and Tom Wapat, are portrayed as convicts on probation, constantly evading the law. The narrative often centers around their involvement in risky activities, including dangerous driving, illegal activities, and destruction of government property. One notable aspect of the show is its impressive stunt driving, showcasing skilled performers and breaking records with their feats. However, some viewers raised concerns about continuity issues and the repetitive use of certain elements in the production. Critics argued that the Dukes of Hazard promotes a skew-wood sense of Southern values, emphasizing a carefree and rebellious lifestyle. The characters, although portrayed as good-hearted, often resort to violence and disorder to solve problems, reflecting the trends of 1970s television. The character Daisy Duke, played by Catherine Bach, has drawn attention for her iconic appearance but is criticized for embodying a stereotype and contributing to questionable fashion trends. Additionally, other characters like Cooter, played by Ben Jones, add layers of complexity to the narrative. In essence, the Dukes of Hazard exists within the boundaries it sets for itself, offering a cartoonish portrayal of Southern life with a mix of entertainment and controversy. While some appreciate its nostalgic and lighthearted approach, others find fault in its portrayal of values and character dynamics. Lucas and Beauregard Duke, commonly known as Luke, and Beau had their full first names revealed in an episode titled High Octane. Cooter, at times, playfully referred to Luke as Lucas Ducas. The revelation of their full names remained a subtle element in the series. When Tom Wapat and John Schneider returned after a walkout in Season 5, initial plans to keep the replacement Dukes were scrapped due to the logistical challenge of managing four Duke boys. Despite dissatisfaction with the replacements, fans expressed disappointment that Bo, Luke, Coy, and Vance never shared an adventure together upon Bo and Luke's return. In the 1981-82 season, Schneider and Wapat demanded pay raises, citing O with royalties from the show's merchandise. Their walkout led to the temporary introduction of replacements, Coy and Vance, resulting in a notable decline in the show's ratings. The dispute was later settled, and Schneider and Wapat returned for the final four episodes, writing out the clone Dukes, never to be mentioned again. The series, marked by character dynamics and behind-the-scenes negotiations, continued to capture the audience's attention with its distinct portrayal of Southern life. The roller coaster of events, from the revelation of full names to cast walkouts and subsequent returns, added layers to the narrative, making it a memorable journey for viewers. The Dukes of Hazard, though not without controversy, remains a classic in television history. Catherine Bach's audition for the role of Daisy in The Dukes of Hazard left a lasting impression on the producers, leading them to cast her on the spot. 
Originally intended to resemble Dolly Parton, Daisy's character in the pilot is described as knowledgeable about all of Parton's songs, hinting at her aspirations for a music career. The show's theme, Good Old Boys by Waylon Jennings, became a hit single in August of 1980. With an extra verse and an extended musical bridge, the song peaked at number 21 on the Billboard Pop Chart and claimed the number one spot on the country chart. A notable piece of the Dukes of Hazzard's legacy is one of Daisy Duke's outfits displayed at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. This further solidifies the show's impact beyond the television screen. In the midst of the Dukes of Hazzard's run, a contractual dispute led to Tom Wapat and John Schneider temporarily stepping away from their roles as Bo and Luke Duke. This absence was seamlessly integrated into the storyline, explaining their departure as an endeavor to try their luck on the NASCAR circuit. The show navigated this shift with narrative finesse, keeping viewers engaged. The iconic General Lee cars, totaling between 256 and 321, were a central element of the series, with most meeting a destructive fate during production. Contrary to popular belief, no 1970 Chargers were utilized in the creation of these legendary vehicles. Interestingly, fewer than 20 General Lee cars, in varying states of disrepair, persist as tangible remnants of the show's vehicular legacy. J.D. Hogg, commonly known as Boss, epitomized the shadowy world of the Southern Fried Mafia. This distinct criminal organization operated on a localized scale, controlling illicit activities like gambling, prostitution, and moonshine production. In contrast to major crime syndicates, they manipulated officials in small towns and southern cities, leaving their mark. Comparable criminal undertakings are showcased in films like White Lightning and Walking Tall, offering a more serious perspective on the Southern Fried Mafia's influence. The Dukes of Hazard, though not without controversy, continues to be a classic in television history. From contract disputes leading to character departures to the creation and destruction of iconic cars, the show's narrative unfolded in a unique manner. The criminal escapades of Boss Hogg, inspired by the Southern Fried Mafia, added an extra layer of intrigue. The Dukes of Hazard, with its distinctive portrayal of Southern life, remains etched in the annals of television history. Bo and Luke Duke, on probation for moonshine running, opted for bows and arrows instead of guns to avoid violating their probation. The unique choice added a distinctive twist to the series, showcasing the creative challenges the Duke boys faced in their adventures. Production of the series saw a significant number of car crashes with police sedans easily replaced, but the iconic General Lee, a Dodge Charger, posed a challenge due to the discontinuation of the model. Producers went to great lengths, even approaching Charger owners on the street to purchase them instantly. The General Lee's license plate, CNH 320, became a recognizable detail for avid fans. The narrative unfolded seamlessly around Bo and Luke Duke's probationary escapades, cleverly integrating their use of unconventional weapons and the challenges faced in car replacements. The series also navigated a contractual dispute, leading to temporary departures of Tom Wapat and John Schneider, creatively explained in the storyline as the characters trying their luck on the NASCAR circuit. The General Lee cars, ranging between 256 and 321 in total, met destructive fates during production, contrary to popular belief that 1970 Chargers were utilized. Less than 20 General Lee cars, in varying states of disrepair, stand as tangible remnants of the show's vehicular legacy, further emphasizing the show's impact beyond the screen. The criminal undertakings of Boss Hogg, inspired by the Southern Fried Mafia, added an intriguing layer to the series, showcasing a localized criminal organization manipulating officials in small southern towns. This portrayal added depth to the show's unique narrative, distinguishing it within the television landscape. Despite controversies, the Dukes of Hazard endures as a classic in television history. Its distinct portrayal of Southern life, coupled with creative problem-solving in production challenges, continues to resonate with audiences.